Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to USA TSTST 2016 problem 2. At first, let's take a look at our picture. We have given an acute triangle ABC with orthocenter H. Points M and N are defined as the midpoints of line AH and line BC. We consider the circle with diameter AH and I want to call the circle gamma. And this circle intersects line AN at a point Q not equal to A. Moreover, we want to intersect the circle gamma with the circumcircle omega of triangle ABC at a point G not equal to A. The point O is defined as the center of the circle omega. And now we want to take the tangent line to gamma at point G and intersect it with the line OM to get the point P. The problem asks us to prove that the circumcircles of G, N, Q and M, B, C, these two blue circles here, intersect at one point T that lies on the line PM. I have chosen to present this problem because there are several points in this configuration that also appear in other problems. And at first, I want to start by figuring out some properties of this point in this picture that can also be useful in general. First of all, we want to consider this point Q here, which is also known under the name of the Humpty point. And in particular, it is known that it lies on the circle BHQC, which is the first claim I want to prove. Since Q was defined as the intersection of the circle gamma with the line AN, we know that the angle AQH is a right one. We want to prove that this point Q lies on the circumcircle of triangle BHC. And another well-known property is that this circumcircle is the circumcircle of triangle ABC reflected over the line BC. The proof of this claim will also imply this, but we want to use this fact as a motivation to introduce the point A prime, which should be the reflection of A over N. This implies that A prime C is parallel to B A in the, in the same way A prime B is parallel to A C. Now we can use the fact that C H is perpendicular to A B because this implies that also C H is perpendicular to C A prime. In the same way, angle A prime B H is equal to 90 degrees. We directly see that all the points B, Q and C lie on the circle with diameter H A prime and therefore our claim is proven. I have drawn in our circle into the big picture and now one thing one can notice is that we have three circles, namely this new one and gamma and omega and for these three circles we have all the pairwise intersections. This motivates us to draw in the free radical axis of these circles. We want to call this intersection point S. And if you have drawn a good picture, then you can notice that S also lies on the circumcircle of G, Q, N, which is actually one of the circles considered in the problem statement. Hence, it is a reasonable next step to try to prove that these four points indeed lie on a circle. And the first thing we can notice for this is that we already know the angle S Qn, namely, this is a right one. Moreover, we already know that the angle S gh is equal to 90 degrees. And therefore, in order to prove that S, G, Q, and N is concyclic, we have to prove that G, H, N is collinear, and this is our next claim. For proving the claim, we want to use the well-known fact that the reflection of H over N is equal to the reflection of A over O. So let's introduce this reflection h prime and then prove this fact and after that we can prove our claim. As we have seen before, the circumcircle of BHC is just omega reflected over BC. Now we can use the fact that n is the midpoint of BC to directly get that h prime lies on omega. This allows us to calculate the angle h prime AC, namely angle h prime, prime a c equals the angle h prime b c. Now we use the fact that h prime is the reflection of h over n 
to get that this is equal to the angle H C B and this is nothing but 90 degrees minus the angle beta, so angle C B A. We also know that the angle O A C is equal to 90 degrees minus beta. And therefore, we directly get that this is also equal to the angle O A C. And this implies that A, O, and H prime are collinear. Since the point G lies on the circle omega, this immediately implies that the angle H prime G A is equal to 90 degrees, which is also equal to the angle H G A. Therefore, the points H prime H and G lie on one line. And since N lies on the line H prime H, we indeed get that G, H, N, and H prime are collinear, and our claim is proven. There is one more property we can get out of this proof. Namely, we figured out that H prime is also the reflection of A over O. And therefore, O is the midpoint of A H prime, and M is the midpoint of A H. And this implies that the lines H prime H and O M are parallel. With the help of the fact that M O is parallel to G H, we are now ready to approach our point P. Namely, we know that the angle A M P must be equal to the angle A H G. Moreover, M is the midpoint of the circle gamma. And therefore, the angle A M G is two times the angle A H G. And this directly implies that also the angle PMG is equal to this angle AHG. In other words, MP is just the angle bisector of AMG. And since we know that MG is equal to MA, this directly implies that this line PM is the perpendicular bisector of AG. This means that the point A is just a reflection of G over PM. And this especially implies that PA is a tangent to gamma and the angle PAM is equal to 90 degrees. This motivates us to draw in the circle with diameter PM because we know that points G and A have to lie on it. Taking another look at the picture, we can guess that the point T, which is the point of our interest, lies on this green circle. From here on, we basically have all the information and it is just left to define T in the right way to finish our proof. In this specific case here, we want to define T as the intersection of this green circle with the circumcircle S N Q G, which is not equal to G. And this will give us the most information and will enable us to finish our proof. First of all, we want to prove that this point T here lies on the line P M. And we want to do this by an angle chase where we use oriented angles modulo 180 degrees. The angle N Tg is just equal to the angle NSG since T was chosen on this blue circle. Now, this angle NSG, which is equal to NSA, is nothing but 90 degrees minus the angle GAH. So let's write this down. And now we use the fact that the angle HGA is equal to 90 degrees, and therefore this angle is just equal to the angle. A H G, which is this red angle here, and which is also equal to the angle P M G, as we figured out earlier. Using the fact that by definition T also lies on the screen circle here, we know that this angle is equal to the angle P T G, and therefore we indeed conclude that the points P T and n are collinear. Now we note that by the definition of t, angle STN is equal to 90 degrees, which is also equal to the angle MTP. Since the points PT and n are collinear, this also directly implies that the points S, T, and m are collinear. This enables us to use power of a point at S. Namely, we get that 
by considering oriented lengths as b times sc is equal to sg times sa by power of a point on omega and then sg times sa is equal to sg times sm by power of a point on the screen circle. By power of a point again, this immediately implies that the points B, C, M, and T are concyclic. Hence, the point T also lies on a circumcircle of B, C, M, and we are done. <laughs>